Hey friends, Ash here with Jensense, and today we're taking a look at this one, Bottega Veneta Illusione. I actually did a first impression on this one not that long ago with the fragrance haul. This one was my favorite of that bunch. It was this against two other fragrances and I uh, really dug this one. So I figure let's check it out in a little more detail. So in this video, I'm gonna go over the presentation with you guys, give you a quick breakdown of how this one smells and let you know whether or not I like it or not. So let's jump into this. First off, before I even show you the presentation, let me waste a couple sprays for you guys. Get that out of the way. Not too bad. And the wind is blowing that way, so some of you got some smell vision Went right onto my lens. Love it when that happens. Awesome. All right, guys, let's start this off with the presentation like always. This box actually has a coloration that reminds me of creme brulee. I don't think that's what they were going for, but it reminds me of that burnt top on a creme brulee a little bit. So on the front here, you have the name of the house, the name of the fragrance, the size, and concentration. Nothing on the top, the sides, or the back. And then on the bottom, you have your badge code and your barcode. Badge code here is 0031. And here is your bottle. It's a nice square bottle, looks classy. You have the name of the house, name of the fragrance. You've got the size and concentration right here on the side. Then on the bottom, you have your badge code, and that's actually printed right there. One interesting thing is you can actually see the atomizer through the top of the cap. So it basically looks like a donut. And then it just slides over top like that. So that is the presentation. It's pretty simple, but it's nice looking, which is what you would expect from this house. So this one is pretty simple as far as the note breakdown goes. There's not a whole heck of a lot going on. You have six notes, that's it. You have lemon and bitter orange in the top, so you've got a little citrus combo there, and you can probably tell which direction the fragrance is going just by those two notes. Then you have fir and cedar, and vetiver and tonka, and that's it, six notes. So this one starts off very clean, very brisk, very fresh. Lemon and bitter orange, like I mentioned, those are the notes that you get the most in the opening. At first, it's more lemon for me than it is bitter orange. The longer it stays on my skin, the more the bitter orange creeps out and the lemon kind of falls back. So they're kind of doing like a, a citrus dance or something, kind of coming in and out as it dries. About five minutes in, I get a green woody fur note that comes out, kind of melds together with that citrus. And it gives the fragrance a bit of a clean, woody feeling along with those citrus notes. After that, there's a fresh modern cedar. Look at all that, ah, fresh modern cedar that comes in with the fir. So fir hits first, cedar comes afterwards. And it's not a realistic cedar to me. That's why I hit you with all these. <laughs> it's, um, like I said, fresh, modern. Some people might say ISOE super-ish. It's not overly deep, it's not heavy, it's not a fragrance that wears you down. It's a nice, kind of effervescent, floats off the skin, sparkles a little bit, and it's a classic Italian style fresh cologne. That's what this one is. So you've got this slightly bitter citrus that's a little bit rindy, like a bitter orange rind to an extent, and then these clean modern woods, vetiver, cedar, and fir. This one smells very much in line with like an Aqua de Parma or a Xenia release. Like I've said a couple times, a classic Italian cologne style of fragrance. You know, like the Aqua de Parma Colonia line, something like that. Into the dry down, this one starts to smell soapy, a little bit powdery, still has those clean modern style woods in the backbone of the fragrance. And uh, yeah, it's just a clean, easy to wear, kind of sophisticated, refined, if you want to call it that, Italian style cologne fragrance for spring and summertime, more suited for daytime wear. And with everything I've just said, you probably already know what seasons and times that you would wear this. I've also mentioned it, but just to tie it up with the bow, daytime, not really a nighttime fragrance for me, spring and summer, and more casual or office type situations. Um, if it's a warm weather 
formal type of situation, you could pull this off as well pretty easily. Again, they're not the exact same, but it's the same style. And the Aqua de Parma Colonia line, wherever you would wear those fragrances, that's where you'd wear this. All right, let's talk about the performance. For me, longevity wise, pretty good actually. Yeah, six to seven hours, better than I expected when I first went into this, but projection, not so good, below average. Initially, when you first spray it on and the citrus is kind of jumping around, you know, projection is okay, but that's what you would expect. You know, citrus typically is very lively when you first spray it on. Once it starts to settle down, it's um, maybe not exactly what I would call skin scent, but it is uh, a personal scent. As far as age range, for me, this is gonna be upper 20s and up. It's not really the type of fragrance that screams youthful. Now, it doesn't say I'm a grandpa. Not that there's anything wrong with being a grandpa, and shout out to all of you grandpas and papas out there. I see you, I respect you. But it's not really a super youthful fragrance. This isn't a kind of high school type scent. And I mean, really, you can just tell looking at the packaging that this is not made for teenagers and really probably not going to appeal to many early 20s uh, guys out there either. But upper 20s and above, yeah. One thing with this fragrance, it is a Bottega Veneta, and that means it is fairly expensive, even at discounters. This is one of those brands that doesn't get heavily marked off. There are some houses out there where you know, as soon as that stuff hits discounters, it's gonna be like 25, 30 bucks. Bottega Veneta, not one of those houses. This one retains value. And while the scent here is very pleasant, I really like how it smells. I really like the vibe it gives off. It's not highly complex. There's not a huge amount of things going on. There's not this constant change. There aren't all these nuances swirling in and out. It's pretty straightforward. What it wants to be, what it does, is uh, a fresh, clean, sophisticated, refined, Italian cologne style fragrance, as I've said countless times. That's what it is. So if you want a fragrance that is going to give you sort of a fresh from the shower vibe, but with a much higher class edge to it with that refinement and you don't mind the lower projection and you don't mind the lack of complexity, if we want to call it that, and you're willing to spend the higher price that this house commands, I say go for it because the fragrance itself smells really, really good and it makes me happy wearing it, and can't really put a price on that, can we? So even though there are a few things that I can say about this that detract from it, overall, I'm glad I have it. And I guess it is a little bit more affordable than some of the Aqua de Parmas out there, which I keep referencing. And for what it's worth, this is going to smell more modern than a lot of those fragrances as well. And just to really drive it home, I am not saying this smells exactly like Aqua de Parma Colonia or any of the flankers in that line. I'm just saying they accomplish the same thing through similar means. So for me overall, is this one thumbs up, thumbs down, somewhere in the middle? I think it's uh, a thumbs up. I like this one. I like the way it smells. I like the way it makes me feel. I like how clean it is, how easy it is to wear. And you know, sometimes I don't really want a complex fragrance, so I'll go to pass, but it is. Like I said, a little bit expensive. But if you ever do find this on the cheap, like let's say $50 and below, I think it's a really safe buy, as long as you take into account the things I've said about it so that you know whether it's something that you would like or not. All right, guys, it's gonna do it for me for this Bottega Veneta here. If you smelled this one, let me know what you think about it in the comments below. As always, thanks for hanging out with me. Thanks for all your support. Stay safe out there, and I'll see you guys tomorrow with another fragrance video. See you guys.